development of truncated hexagonal pyramid and uh, if this is the case this is the case hexagon 30 mm side pyramid can be identified as if you would have an apex oh on all slant edges i mean the points of all these at the edges of all this hexagonal uh, contacting surface or uh, faces meet at one point that's called apex this is a condition we call as a pyramid and the word truncated sends out at some distance if it been cut it apart we call as a truncated in this case the height of 20 uh, 50 mm of uh, height of uh, pyramid of an hexagon of base uh, 30 mm around at height of uh, 25 mm a 45 degree section has been made while doing so so this is a part where or what we need to develop over here i am not going to explain how to develop this hexagon well this has been already done in a previous session how to draw this and how to go up with uh, how to construct a pyramid uh, repertoring to an hexagon of around 30 mm side or any other sides if i say this you can see you can know that a 20 mm of height there's a 45 degree angle has been made which has been sectioned over there and uh, to make it quite easy i will uh, uh, number it out as a, for a convenience this is a point a this comes over here and which reaches over here, this one as point a i call it as a one point b this point which is apex over here and it has been cut it over here i call it as point 2 and corresponding c over here c which has been touch over to apex o along this and it has been sectioned for a 45 degree at this point i call it as 3 d which is right behind if you could see behind that 2 i call it as 4 and i keep it as in a bracket as we conventionally does it in engineering drawing whichever is behind our heights up we keep uh, all those uh, either it will be an alphabetical character or numerical value in a bracket similar thing i did over here and next is an e alphabetic character which is right again behind this a bands 1 so i call it as a 5 and the last one be f which is over here which runs and reaches at apex o which cuts a 45 degree angle over here i call it as point 6 for a convenience i marked this now let me show you how to develop this uh, uh, a truncated uh, hexagonal pyramid on a sheet just mark one uh, point o on a sheet Just mark a point over on a sheet. Draw one line. Draw one line. To some length. Take a compass. Take a compass. Measure a distance of O and F. Even maybe O and C. At the extreme edges, you keep uh, one thing in mind. Either you can measure O, C, or O, F. Extreme one. Now, uh, in this case, I will measure O, F. Take as a point. I draw. so this distance surely would be the way of o and f right and as we know the hexagon has a 1 2 3 4 5 6 faces what i do is we i would take compass measure the dm and I cut this arc which i had drawn earlier with the distance of o and f i cut this arc keeping a distance of 30 mm because 30 mm side what we need to develop over here and measure 30 mm in a compass i will cut it into six parts like as if this is six phase 1 2 3 4 5 6 in case of pentagon it will be 5 but in case of hexagon it will be 6 measure 30 mm now cut this arc into 6 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now i will join all this to this apex now to make it quite simple again for us at this point refers to this f this point refers to o here i call it as an a this would be b this would be c and this would be d this is e and last one again it's f just imagine we're opening up cutting at this part and you're opening up lines that's what been done over here so once i do this since it's an a, if i go with this it would be an hexagonal pyramid but here it's hexagonal truncated for some 45 degree so for which again I do one more process. I would again take a compass, measuring the distance of O, O on line O F at point six. 
I'll measure again, I'd repeat, I take compass, I'll measure O and 6 and make the uh, thing that on which line it lies, the 6 point lies on a line O, F, I measure from the compass O to 6, I'll cut this O to that measured O6 on the line F as this O6 point refers on F, I mark it as 6. In a similar way, I take a compass, I'll measure O1, again O1 lies on A, O line. I measure O1, I measure it and cut it on O A1, this point I got as 1. To make quite simple again, you know that again one more uh, point is over there which is a file which lies over O E as if this one, 1 and 5 lies on the A and even a line E. So I measure O5 and I will cut it on O E, the same one. So I point this as 5. Next would be O. 2, O2 which lies over a line B and D, I measure it and I will cut on O2 which lies on B and D, B and D. So the point that lies on B would be 2 and this would be 4. Next I measure a distance of O3 using a compass which lies on a line CO, I measure it O3 and I will keep it as a point of O. And I cut one more point which is called as 3 which lies over C. And when I join this, and again one more little point O6, which is again the another way where I'm going to lap it up, I'll mark it the same O6. This is a 6, and I'll join this. So when I want to develop this, this part, and this one, since it's in a uh, edges, I join this as a straight line OA to B. C, D, F, E and F and if we could join this this would be a development of an X on truncated at a distance of 25 mm with a 45 degree angle in order to have this uh, lap joint I give an allowance of around 5 mm and 5 mm around 10 mm over here we divided by 5 into 5, 5 and 5 and here 5 mm and I put it together into a workshop or a sheet metal workshop using a mallet. So the development what you get is a truncated hexagonal.